I had a few questions about Clark's line in Superman, after Lois leaves to go meet the mad scientist, he says to the chief, don't you think that's a dangerous mission? Some people seem to think that the line might used to have been, don't you think that's a dangerous mission for a woman? So let me play you the five versions of the movie that I have, and then I'll talk about it a little bit more. Kent, you help Lois follow up her lead. She may have an angle on this thing. Yes, sir. But Chief, I'd like the chance to crack the story on my own. Well, no. Thanks, Chief. But Lois. Chief, don't you think that's a dangerous mission? 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 So that's how the line sounds on every version of the movie that I have. Um, we discussed it a little bit a few years ago on the original trilogy forums, and user tservo2049 had a few things to add. He said, in fact, it's been somewhat of a point of contention whether the line was ever longer than it is now. On an animation forum back when the 2006 movie box set came out, someone claimed to have seen a print with the line at a George Eastman House screening in 1978. But Fleischer historian Ray Pointer doubted that the line ever existed at all and asserted that no print has ever turned up with any such extended line. He further says, I seem to recall that Pointer discussed it again on the late great animation show forums, but since the entire forum was shut down several years back, not all of it was archived by the Wayback Machine. That thread seems to have been lost to the ages. Yes, there is an abrupt fade out, but Pointer said he could not detect an audible soundtrack edit, so it could have just been a sloppy fade that was there originally. So why do so many people seem to think the line used to be dangerous mission for a woman and that it was changed? Well, human memory is a funny thing. We infer that Clark is implying that with the line and we remember that's what it was and then we just start to think that's what we heard even though we didn't really hear it. So that's really all we have about this line. I do want to talk about the character of Lois a little bit in these shorts because I think she is fantastic. I think sometimes people think of Lois and they look at kind of what she became in the 50s comics, which was often just a damsel in distress who was pining after Superman and getting herself into jams just so Superman would save her or to try to trick him into revealing his secret identity. The Lois here in the 40s is a real go-getter character cut from the cloth of a Howard Hawks character who might be played by Catherine Hepburn or Rosalind Russell. Um, she's tough. She's getting herself into jams because she is working hard to get the story. She's a better reporter than Clark is. Um, and yes, of course the story dictates that Lois gets kidnapped or gets into trouble and Clark has to save her. But I just think she's such a neat character. So long, Clark! See you later, Lois! <laughs> 